Hey guys, Monkey from Board Game here. We're here today with another ship buyer's guide, and we're looking at the Anvil Gladiator Bomber. The Anvil Gladiator Bomber was recently released as hangar ready. So, the Gladiator is the UEE Navy's premier carrier based torpedo plane and space to ground dive bomber. Operating with Hornet escort fighters, Gladiators have been in service with great success in battles across known space. Rugged to a fault, the Gladiator is the most capable bomber chassis ever designed. The civilian model of the Gladiator appeals to those who want to explore the verse with a bit of added security, supporting a maximum of two peoples. The Gladiator is perfectly equipped to explore fight without a wingman. The civilian model allows pilots to choose between an extra bit of cargo or a bomb bay. One of the aspects of the Gladiator that has made it so popular is that it is easily modifiable. The Gladiator is a short-range bomber, the idea of which is to deliver high targeted damage to large and medium sized ships. She's quite capable in a fight because she's a two crewman ship. She has that big turret on her um, that a separate crewmate can pilot and fire. Pretty damn capable in a battle. So as I said, she's got two crew stations. She's got a 26,000 kilogram mass. So she's reasonably light um, with the amount of armament she's got. Two TR two engines and can take a maximum of size four engines. She has eight TR1 thrusters and can take a maximum of TR2. So out of the box she hasn't got that much thrust and engine power but she does have the options to be upgraded to be pretty damn powerful maneuvering and engine wise. Power plant size is two and that's her Mac and out of the box as well the size three shield and a max of size three. She also comes with no uh, cargo units of freight capacity, unfortunately, uh, unless you remove her belly mount with her torpedoes in, and in which case you can put uh, a cargo bay in this instead. Hard points wise, she has two class two size two lasers uh, on the wings, those are the gimbal mounted, uh, and again they're a maximum of size two. Four class three size three missile mounts with four size three missiles, so those are pretty damn hefty missiles she's got equipped to her. Um, one class 5 size 2 manned turret, which again is maximum size 2. Now this is going to be pretty effective at defending her tail um, and making a much more powerful combat ship if you've got a teammate flying her um, or in, in the ship with you. Uh, and one class 3 belly mount with four size 5, size 5 torpedoes. So you can replace that belly mount with a cargo bay if you want, it is totally optional. So what's she going to set you back? Well, standalone, she's $165 and comes with six months insurance and the Revlon York hanger. So that's the quite pretty hanger, the, the white business one. Um, as a package, she comes with a variety of things as you'd expect. So um, beta access to the game and all that jazz, I'll put it up on the screen, and that will cost you $180. Now, it's my opinion that she's quite expensive uh, for real life cash, unfortunately. She doesn't come with particularly amazing stock equipment. I mean, she does come with those torpedoes and that belly mount, which is pretty cool. Uh, and she is a two person ship. But for $100, you can grab yourself a cutlass. And I just love the cutlass so much more. But if you want a short range bomber, if you want a ship that you're going to be flying around uh, with support from your mates that are in hornets or cutlasses, uh, and you're going to be taking on medium to large ships, like you want to bomb a Banu merchantman out of the fucking, I would say, sky, but it's not really in the sky, it's in space. If you want to bomb out of space. So statistically, she's been tweaked a lot since her concept to her hangar ready phase. And she could be tweaked more, but I think they'll probably keep her like this unless there's a problem with her in Arena Commander when they bring her out. I hope that's been informative, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want a bomber, grab this ship. Or you could go, go for a retaliator when they come on sale again. And um, if they come on sale again, which I'm sure they will. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time in the next Ship Spire's Guide. Bye.